All right, just take a minute and show you the Osaki Encore 4D. I haven't seen a lot of reviews on the internet, so I thought I'd you know, create one of my own. It's a 4D massage chair um, by Osaki, as I mentioned. It's called the Encore. Um, it's a $3,999 at the Costco Road Show right now. I think it retails on their website for about $6,999. Uh, has a pad. Uh, if you want to reduce the intensity, you can flip the pad up like that. Uh, just for your head and it also just has a zip off if you want to take it off permanently or leave it on um the chair is like in a it's like a spaceship pod has a couple of um, lights on the side uh, light up i'll show you that um has about 20 something airbags you can look it up exactly uh, airbags here on the on the side here for your arms you put your arm in there and they go up and down. There's a little ball here. Um, I'm not sure you can see it. That just has like a textured ball. that just feels really nice in your hands when it compresses. Um, same thing with this side. It does not have any lumbar support. So no airbags here and no air airbags um, here. Some of the um, in upper price models like the Econ, I think have the side airbags and the Maestro have the side airbags and then the lumbar airbags that really kind of grip your body this doesn't have either uh has some heating elements here and here i really don't find they work to be honest i can't feel them at all um so either they're not working on this chair or they're just really low intensity the 4d roller goes from the top down here all the way down to the seat into your glutes and hamstrings really i think it's about 52.8 inches officially um, it's a really nice long massage the rollers kind of come out of here you can increase the their 4d rollers so you increase the depth of them so they come out about inch and a half two inches or so really kind of intense depth massage um, they go right up to your scalp um, your neck really nice neck massage on this neck and shoulder massage all the way down to your glutes um, this can be quite intense you can adjust the intensity a little bit but it's still pretty um intense overall some speakers uh, for music you can pair your phone uh, it does have voice commands you just tap this little button please here please tell your command you please that. tell your command and you can launch it into different settings like zero gravity and things uh, i find it the voice is a little bit more gimmicky than useful to be honest i find the remotes uh, more useful um has shoulder airbags these compress and push in your shoulders feels really nice and when you get down to the um feet it has a open foot, so you can see these are not enclosed. They have two airbags here and here, and then here and here. These are heated. Um, this model does not oscillate, so some of the more expensive models, this will turn and kind of go up and down like this, kind of knead your calves. And the, uh, some of the more expensive models have an enclosed foot. Um, this is not, so it has three rollers here. You can turn them off, on and off individually. This kind of goes down, this airbag goes down and squeezes, and it also has a little uh, airbag at the back for your heel. Um, overall, the foot massage is decent. Uh, I tried the Osaki Maestro enclosed one. That one is a lot um, more intense and kind of overall just generally feels nicer because it's enclosed and kind of needs your feet. This one does not do that, but it's still pretty good. The heat on the uh, calf um, airbags here are quite intense, unlike the ones over there. These ones you actually feel. Um, what else can I show you? Um, the chair is about 250 pounds, I want to say, so definitely not a light thing. It is on wheels, um, so you can just lift it up and wheel it there. Um, it just takes one power cord, and these there's some kind of lights there that just go on and off, change color. Uh, I'm not sure what the purpose of them are other than decorative. Um, this is a remote, so it comes out. Kind of is a little annoying to use the remote, to be honest. Like, it, it, there's a spot for it, but I find the wire gets all tangled and whatnot. So, it's just something to consider. Some of them have, some of the more expensive ones just have tablets to sit there, like the Maestro. It's powered on. It's got a bunch of different settings. Auto, manual. Auto has a different, a bunch of different options. Boss nursing, gentle treatment, body care, extension. This one gives you a really nice stretch. So, it just locks you in. Um, on the shoulders and then kind of your legs and it just stretches you. The machine goes down. It's like zero gravity or beyond and just kind of pulls you. It's really nice. Um, you know, this would want neck and shoulders, just, you know, waist and spine. Sports refresh is okay. It's pretty intense. 
Working relief is okay. And this one's really nice. It's gentle, rest and sleep. Really gentle kind of before you go to sleep massage. Um, just kind of go back here. Manual has a bunch of different modes, kneading, tapping, knocking, shiatsu, sink, 40 shiatsu, percussion and massage. These just, the, the rollers just do different things. This one kind of just needs like a hand, simulates a hand. This one taps up and down. This one just knocks, etc. Um, it also has zero gravity. You can turn it on or off. So I turn it on. You see the machine just kind of moves up, kind of reclines back. It does have, um, you know, uh, space saving features. So it only requires about three or four inches from the back and it can go down. So it comes out more than anything. Um, so it just kind of goes out like that. Um, you can also go in and I turn on the heat. Um, so just go over here, turn that on. And like I said, it kind of heats up the cast. We so don't really feel it in the back. Maybe mine's just broken. Um, so let's do an auto program. I'll show you the, so let's pick boss nursing. It's, this one's a pretty intense one. Um, so you can see the first thing it does is sense, body sensing, scanning. So it just does a, the rollers go up and down. It tries to gauge where your shoulders are. It lets you adjust it manually after if it doesn't find them. Um, but this is really important. Just kind of sit back and let it figure out where your shoulders are. Cause you don't want them kind of massaging the wrong places. Uh, there you go. You can see how you can adjust the shoulders if you want. Um, and it, the green, the green dot kind of shows where the roller is. If you hit the right arrow here, you can adjust the airbag intensity. You see it going up. That's the, the most forceful. That's the least forceful and kind of anywhere in between. Um, this 4d button is supposed to adjust the depth of the roller, um, the intensity of the roller. You can see that's on the lowest setting, kind of goes up, 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 and up. I find it's it's not super effective on the auto programs. You can see it just kind of changes it, um, overrides it. I'm not sure why, um, but I find it, you know, it kind of feels the same, almost everything. It does a little bit. You can see the rollers going in and out. So quite a bit of depth there. Um, they come about a couple inches out. Um, so you can really feel it on your shoulders and kind of your neck uh, real nice. And that's the 4D. They go different with uh, speeds and whatnot too. Um, you can hear the massage motor when you're in it. Um, so unless you have the TV on or kind of use the speakers, you can kind of hear the motor. I don't know if you can hear that. You can definitely hear the airbags compressing in and out. It goes in and out on the hands. So this whole thing will compress all the way up your arms. These will really squeeze your feet. These are on the max. And then this will squeeze your, you can see right now, it kind of squeezes your foot. Gives you a nice foot massage while the rollers are on. On the bottom, just really squeezes your foot. And this, so the more intense you have the airbags, the more intense the foot massage feels. Um, when I first did this, it was too much. I felt it was a little, um, really intense foot massage. Um, you can adjust the feet. So if you want those up and down, you can do that. Um, the back, the depth. So if you want to raise them, if you're a little, sh you know, too short for you, or you can go a little longer. This allows you to pinpoint. So if you want to stop that um, green dot in one place on your back, you have a spot you want to do. You can do that with manual mode. Um, show you the menu. So on, on the manual side, you can also adjust what part. So if you want like a specific position, a point, you can do that with the up down arrows. I just take pick kneading in one spot, for example. You can adjust the width of the roller, so wide, medium, or narrow. The speed, all the way up to six different speeds. This decides if you want to keep the foot roller on. You can turn it on or off. Um, sometimes it lets you adjust it. You want the one, one roller on, two roller, or three. And of course, zero gravity. A couple other things. Uh, 4D massage just has deep shatsu, healthy breath and massage extend. I find like these, you can adjust the force, which is the intensity and then where you want it. They're only five minute massages. I don't really use them that much. I either use the auto programs or the manual. Um, airbag, this is if you want a full airbag massage, just your arms and shoulders or your legs and foot. And then the force, the strength of the airbags. I already showed you heat and settings just have you know, the duration, so this is a default. You want 20 minute massage, 30 minute massage, 10 minute massage, your language. Uh, if you want Bluetooth for your speaker on or off, and then if you want the voice commands on or off. 
And that is really it. Um, let's put the massage puller back in there. Um, and that yeah, just goes for about 20 minutes, does the program, and then turns off. I don't know if you can see the hands compress, just show you that. Um, so it just pushes right down in your hands. You can see it's compressed. I can barely fit my finger in there. So you can feel the compression happening. And it just kind of goes up and down a little bit, up and down a little bit, and then um, opens up, loses your hand. I would say it's a good intermediate level massage chair. Um, some of the differences, you get an upper level 4D massage like the Maestro or the Econ. You get a much better foot massage. So these things will oscillate. This will be enclosed, um, give you a much better. The rollers might be heated like the Maestro. They have heated rollers. So instead of just having it in one spot, the rollers actually heat up and your whole back gets heated. Um, they'll have more airbags. So again, they'll have the airbags here and the lumbar. Um, yeah, and then it comes fully assembled. So just, you know, they brought it up and put it in the, the spot and just turn it on. And that's all that's required to get it going. So it's like, and it's like a kind of a fake leather. That's it. Uh, Osaki Encore 4D massage chair. Hope you enjoyed.